And the final video for this section is about color management, which I'm going to try and cover without sending you to sleep or boring you to tears. So you'll find this under the edit menu on both the Mac and PC platforms and down towards the bottom, we're going to click on color settings. Now, the reason why we're headed into this dialog box is because when you're working with digital artwork, whether it's bringing an image from Adobe Photoshop into InDesign or whether it's exporting from InDesign to a PDF, we need to make sure that color is managed consistently. And the way that applications achieve this is by tagging documents with a color language, rather like jumping on a plane and going to a different country where they speak a different language. If you speak in the local language, you are more likely to converse and communicate more effectively. So the same is true of color on digital devices. If you're working in Europe, you'll probably find that in this dialog box, it will read Europe General Purpose 3. My suggestion would be change this to the best practice option, which is Europe Prepress 3. If you work in another part of the world, such as North America, you might well find there's an equivalent to this and it's called North American Prepress 2. Um, again, I would choose that option and you can refer to the digital notes as well. There's a full guide and listings on this, but essentially, this is good to go. We're now in a position where we will be color managing our documents. The only thing I would add to this is that down at the bottom, these three checkboxes will become a real pain because every time you open or copy and paste files, if they don't have a matching profile, a color language that's the same, InDesign will tell you and then it will correct the problem for you. We don't need to be told that every time there's a problem, InDesign will do whatever we need it to do to color manage. So. My suggestion would be turn off these three checkboxes and then when you're done, click OK. And that will at least get you up and running color managing your documents and synchronizing your color from one app to another.